Hey, good evening, guys. How are you doing? Hello, I'm fine, thank you. All good? Hi, teacher. I'm fine, teacher. All right, all right, great, great, great. Good to see you guys. So, uh, how is the platform? Did you finish it? Yes, teacher. You yes, did? teacher. All yes. right. Yes, I do. Was there any topic that you uh that you had issues with? Mm -hmm. Or was everything was everything uh easy to understand? How how are you understanding clauses, guys? Relative clauses. Do you think that um, is it clear as vodka or coffee? Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. All right. Very yes. good. So, so, how do you feel with the topic of clauses? Easy peasy or not? Easy, right? Easy. Yeah, so it's easy. It's easy, right? So, anyways, guys, so uh we're gonna continue talking about um about relative pluses, right? But the last topic that we have, guys, is non-defining relative pluses. Okay, so we're gonna see what that means. All right. So uh let me pull up the presentation now, guys. So how was your day, guys? How was your day at work? Busy? Was it okay? Very busy. I'm tired. <laughs> tired. I'm very hot. Very hot. Hey, is yeah. it raining? Is it raining where you're at right now? Or because I saw like today, you know, today it seemed rainy. Like I thought that it was gonna rain. It was kind of <clears throat> cloudy, cloudy, you know. So is it is it raining where you're at right now or? Or is it only me? Around around the chalate, no, teacher. I mean, yeah, well, it's not we rainy. Need, we need some rain, man. It's getting hot. Yeah. It is getting hot, right? Very good, guys. Very good. Okay. All right, guys. So uh, let's get started. So what we're gonna do right now, guys, uh, is that uh, we're gonna we're gonna finish it all. Well, we're gonna continue talking about. Um, uh, we're going to continue talking about clauses, right? So now the next topic that we have that we have in our hands is uh, non-defining relative clauses. Okay, so what do you think? What do you think a non-defining relative clause is, guys? If you've gone through the platform, what is that? What would be that? Good evening, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Good hello, evening, hello. Sandra. Good evening, guys. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Right? Good evening. All right, guys. So before we get started uh, with um, non-defining relative clauses, okay, I have some exercises for you uh, from uh, the relative clauses topic. Okay, so I want you guys to fill out the next information. So what we got here, right, we're going to fill it out with the right uh, option, okay? So, for example, one thing I definitely be fascinated by is, and then you choose my friends, my family getting sick, right? I don't think as the one thing that you definitely be fascinated by would be getting sick, right? Right? <gasps> I don't know. Right? Una cosa que realmente me fascinaría es enfermarme. There's no one ever, right? Oops. Right now. No. Unless, unless you want to get the... Uh, I don't think wanna, so. 
as long as you want to get the time off from from el seguro then yeah right you would say something like that, right? <laughs> okay guys so whatever right i want you to discuss okay so this is not like oh my god i'm gonna read this i want you to talk okay i want you to say why so for example let's say that i'm talking to luis right i'm gonna say hey luis i think one thing i'd definitely be fascinated by is trying new foods i'm planning to go to mexico yeah. soon so i can taste um their you know their best food you know aside from that i have some some other interests right i uh i think that uh the two things i'd be homesick for are pupusas and or, you know so actually give real information right of what you were you uh of what you would prefer right so you have the vocabulary here choose this and give me an explanation on why right like give your partner your your classmate an explanation as to why you chose this option okay all right okay. so i can say you know two things i'd be homesick for are being away from home mm -hmm. and uh getting uh and not hold on in my room at home right my you can say my favorite food in my room at home because i love pupusas man you know i can't live without pupusas i think one of the reasons why i wouldn't move to a different country is because i miss pupusas so much and also my room at home i think my room at home is cozy as hell right so give information to your partner okay so i do do my favorite guys somebody please take a screenshot right now and send it to the whatsapp group okay take a screenshot guys yes yes teacher right did you take it yes all right send it to the whatsapp group and also i want you to take a screenshot right hold on to this okay you're also gonna uh do this one you know use who or that okay or either one of them or if you don't need to use anything you can use the minus sign okay did you get it Oh, yeah. we're good mm -hmm. all right very good guys very good okay so we're gonna do that before we start our next topic so let's have fun guys let's do this ladies and gentlemen all right let's go guys Let's join the rooms, guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hello, Anna. Let's go. Let's go. San Pedro Massa. No, no, Alco. After San Pedro. Uh -huh. Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> In yeah. the Cara Vieja. Mm -hmm. That's why I can <laughs> travel by that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Fascinated by. And uh, for me, one thing is um, try new foods. Yes. Okay. Um, so let's start with the with the first one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One thing I definitely be fascinated by is. Mm, I think mm, trying new foods. Great. One thing I I definitely be fascinated by is making new friends. Okay. 
Um, la sé con cuál. Mm, my family is something I really miss. Me too. My family is something I really miss. The number three. Two things I'll be homesick for are... Mm, um, I don't know. <laughs> well, in my case, I think... Two things I'd be homesick for are getting lost in a new city and mm -hmm. not understanding people. Yeah, I think I think me too. Um the number the number four. Um let's see. Getting sick and and getting lost in a new city are two things I'd be anxious about. Mm -hmm. Great, I think the same. Um, yeah, being away from home and also getting lost in a new city are the things I'd be I'd be anxious about. Um, number five, something that will depress me is. Mm, maybe, I don't know, getting sick. <laughs> Oh, well, that's something that would depress me is being away from home as well. <laughs> uh, um, the number six, right? Um, yeah, it's the one, the 11. Yes, the 11. Uh, maybe uh, speaking a new, no. Okay. Um uh, maybe not not understanding people is one thing that I might be embarrassed about. Yeah, so do I. Yeah. The next one. The most un uncomfortable thing would be mm, mm, I don't know. In in your case. Mm, maybe the most un uncomfortable thing would be getting sick. Mm, yes, yes, I I think so. Um, the next one. Mm, maybe I don't know. Nice. Mm, I yeah. think that it's like. My room at home is something from home that I'd never miss. Yes. Me too. <laughs> In that case. And the last one, one thing I'd be insecure about is um, speaking a new language. All right. In my case, one thing I'd be insecure about is getting used to different culture. Mm. Okay. So... Um, oh, yes, the next exercise, right? We have another one. Yeah, we have another one that we used to have, that we used to have who or that. Okay. Hmm. He's the, the person. Maybe. <laughs> so <laughs> I learned how to sing the person, yes. And I, I know how to sing the national anthem of the United States, you know. To. I just when I just um I listen to the the United States national anthem, for example, uh -huh. when it's the Super Bowl. <laughs> ah. <laughs> because oh um um and yeah, I heard I I uh heard about that. What is the national uh, Marceline? I think it's one was the most beautiful, uh, I don't know, a uh, app oh, in yeah. the world. Yes, this is the first, uh, the first place around the world, you know. And uh, the second one is from Great Britain, and the third one, you know, what is it? 
El Salvador. <laughs> El Salvador, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the only one that I know. <laughs> yeah, it's really, it's really beautiful. <laughs> Yes, of course. Yeah. Well, let's continue, please. Now, and then, is something I really miss? Oh, my family. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. And, and number eight, two things oh. I really come sick for are. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. maybe if I was away from my country, uh, the one thing that I me that I could me I really miss it would uh -huh. be uh the food. <laughs> oh yeah, because, because when you uh when you uh travel, you go to another country, and yes. the food that you are used to uh are used to eating in in your home country is yeah. totally different. Because I have some friends that they uh that they now lived for example in some european countries and they but when they when they come back to el sábado the first thing that they do is to go to all of Wiza. oh yes of course <laughs> and, and it us. Uh, yes. Yes, uh yes and to get uh, to ampero ampero <laughs> Yeah, and when they uh when they uh return back to their uh to the country when they leave they uh also uh they bought pollo cam they buy pollo campero. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. And, okay. and, uh, and I guess I think one one thing that I uh, that I really miss would be the food and 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 as you said maybe it's also my family. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm, my family. And, yes. Where where did you learn your English, Evelyn? Huh? Where did Me? you learn your English? Ah, I I studied. Uh, I learned English at Universal Sabalor because I studied there. Oh, okay. What about you, Sandra? Um, I learned English in several places. For example, at UCA, um, and also at the Central Cultural. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. But you know, you know a lot of grammar, Sandra. Awesome. I, I I thought that you were you were a teacher. Uh, you oh. you once were a teacher. I would like no? to. No. <laughs> of I would like no, to. You know, you you're really good at grammar. You know. Thank you. So, yeah. Thank you. So I was like, oh, okay, maybe she knows. You know, she knows the the answers for what I'm asking because she teaches, right? I thought that you were a teacher. Oh, I, I would like to be a teacher, of course, and. Yeah. Actually, I, I I received a course uh, called TTC, a uh, teacher training course in oh. the Central Cultural, of course. But you know, because of my age, uh, they didn't uh, they didn't give me the opportunity to be a teacher there because they all the time called all uh, young people. You know, mm, apply here. I don't know. They're always hiring. Apply here. <laughs> Yes, yes of course. apply here i you you had you got really good camera you know thank you teacher thank you <laughs> i think you would be a nice humbly. teacher <laughs> see now i know i know but uh, yeah and you're really good i mean evelyn your english is great too but but things that sandra sandra participates a lot and she always knows the answers you know so <laughs> yeah but yes, really good job so girls yeah thank sometimes you. i i know the answer but i i feel shy I, and I have yeah. to participate. <laughs> oh, come on, don't be shy. <laughs> come on, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Uh, yeah, and I, well, I like this kind of uh, exercise because I can practice with uh, with uh, my classmate. <laughs> and uh, um, yeah, because when I was in the previous course, we uh, we uh, talk a lot with uh, our classmate. And, uh -huh. and and the thing that I uh, I think that I need to practice a lot of my speaking. <laughs> because yes. when I I started working uh at my current company, I um uh I uh I I couldn't uh, uh continue practicing my English because I I uh, currently I'm working in a in a call center, but it's like a bilingual account because you can you have oh. to use Spanish and English. So mm -hmm. I didn't, uh, I didn't keep on, uh, keep on uh, practicing my English. So when the opportunity uh, rises that that 
could uh, 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 continue studying English. Well, I just took the opportunity. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Okay, let's continue, please. Number 10, something that would have depressed me is... Oh, depressed me. Oh. But, uh, I prefer uh, stay... Uh, Healthy. Stay, <laughs> okay. Este, uh -huh. sano, <laughs> sano. Healthy. I am not, uh -huh, sí. And yeah, it will be really difficult because maybe you don't know anything like anyone and you are sick in, a, in another country. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the case, um, like getting lost in a new city is something, I mean, it's one thing that I might be embarrassed about. Yeah. Because imagine you just got to a new city and you are too afraid to ask for directions, or maybe um, you just don't remember <laughs> where to live or no. what is um, the mall, or maybe what it is like the market, yes. and you are just like lost and you are too afraid to ask someone because you don't know if that person is going to help you or not. Uh -huh. It's really embarrassing. Yes. It happened to me here when I moved to San Salvador. Um, the first, the first days is like I didn't have idea where I had to took the bus, and I was too afraid to ask anybody because I didn't want them to know that I was lost, and mm -hmm. I just like kept walking, walking until I saw like someone. Yes. That, where are uh, you from, Helen? <laughs> Hi. Where are what? you from? Oh, I'm from Opico. I'm from Opico. Oh, I thought that you were from Guatemala or something because this is like the first time <laughs> I came to San Salvador. Yes. Oh, I thought that you were like from another the city. <laughs> oh, okay, from San Salvador. Okay, I got it, got it. Yeah. I have lived in Santa Tecla and then I moved to San Salvador. And the first week it was awful. <laughs> I didn't know where to take the buses and it's like, oh, maybe um that route is gonna take me there but then no and it was crazy. right right now i got you got you right okay. all right did, did you finish both exercises guys and girls no uh it was the practice the practice yes okay all right that's great continue 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 okay, okay. Thank you. yeah thank you teacher. Mm -hmm. um and the number 11 uh, 12 um uh, the is an animal that lives in the country. How are you doing, guys and girls? Patricia, and I to uh, out. Uh, a controversy, yeah. a controversy, <laughs> a, con a controversial <laughs> exercise. What is the yeah. controversial, a controversial <laughs> exercise? <laughs> what is the controversial exercise? Hey, teacher, when talk about person or animals, are uh, is who? Or is that when you talk about things or animals? With when you say when you talk about animals, animals you're gonna use that. Ah, right. Right. And okay. when you talk about things, you're also going to use that. That okay. But when you talk about people, you can use either one of them. You can use that or you can use who. Oh my god, it's a controversial situation. <laughs> <laughs> no, but just remember Good people. Confused. People and things, I mean, people use two, right? Yeah. Everything else, okay. you only use one. Okay. Everything else just uses one, right? Okay. Okay. So for, for everything example, else the, will use sentence, one. The sentence five, uh, the Peter penguin is an animal that lives in the Arctic. Could be the, 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 the correct uh, use of oh, that. The, the, I'm sorry, which one? The fight. The emperor penguin is an animal that lives that lives. The in emperor the Arctic. penguin is an is an animal that lives in the Arctic. Antarctic. Antarctic. Yes, that is the answer. The answer that lives in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Yes. That is correct. Okay. You can't use who lives in. Okay. Because it's not uh -huh. a person. Buff, buff answer is right. No. No. I said no. you. You can't. We you can't. cannot. Right. You can, okay. In that, okay. All right. Got very it. Good, very good. In the in the sentence in the answer, 
Can you ask someone who you know to help us? Is who? Can you ask someone who you know to help us? Is who? Or you can use okay. you can use both. You can use who oh. or that. Okay. Both would be correct. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank yes. You. You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh. Hello, ladies okay. and Jose Luis. How are you? Fine. What about Hello. you? I'm great. I'm great. I'm great. Uh, how are you doing with the the, the practice? Well, well, we finished already. We were like yes. doing, doing it again with Anna. She couldn't do it before because of network issues. Okay, I got it. Okay, no more. So no, 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 not not everybody has finished, but uh, we're gonna go back now and we're gonna solve them together. Okay. 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 All right. Sounds good. Hey, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. All right, how do you like the practice? Easy? Easy peasy? How do you easy, find it? Easy. It's easy. It's easy or not? Okay, very good. Pretty good, guys. So, hey, all right, let's. Uh, a lot of people missed the class today, guys. I don't know what's going on. With the same. We only have 19 people instead of 24. We should have 18 people. <laughs> 18. <laughs> we lost one. We lost, no, no. It's, we, I have, today, guys, today I have, right now, right now, I have 17 students. But, oh, you yes, are yes, yes, yes. Good, yeah. oh. No, 17, because I'm including myself. So with me, it's 18, right? Uh, okay. but, but we usually have, like, every single day, guys, We've had like 20, between 24 20, and 25, right? Yes. Or 23 yes. sometimes, right? So the rest country on vacation. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they're taking like, they're taking like, oh, I finished the platform already, you know? <laughs> come tomorrow, okay? You have to come tomorrow. Don't leave me alone here. Um, <laughs> I, I, think, I think, guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to deliver. So starting on next Monday, starting next Monday, like, yeah, this Monday 17th, I'm going to deliver advanced three, right? Oh, so, yes. are, you, are, you, are you with who? With with us? I have no idea, guys. I have no idea. Um, teacher, I have no. a, a doubt about that. Tell me. Um, I I haven't received the the like the um. What can I say? The, the invitation. The yes, the invitation. Uh huh. I haven't. I haven't either. I, I would, I, 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 can, I, I don't know, guys, if it's, I don't know if you are going to start this coming Monday, I don't know, right? I know that I have an, an, a class for advanced three this Monday, right? Oh, however, okay. however, um, if you think that you should have received an email already, uh, I, I would suggest you um, send an email, guys, send an email to English Cooperative, right? Wherever okay. is, you got the, the contact because I, I really don't maybe handle those Friday. things. Maybe this maybe, Friday. This Friday, yes, on Saturday. Maybe. No. maybe. When, are, when are we going to finish today? No, no, tomorrow, we're gonna finish tomorrow. tomorrow. Tomorrow, okay. Yes, tomorrow. Tomorrow is our last day here, and we're gonna go over the assessment. Okay, so guys, let's move on because I do have to. So between today and tomorrow, we're gonna go over it not defining and non-defining relative clauses, which is a very interesting topic. I really love, yes. I really love teaching guys these topics because you really need a good teacher. So people understand these topics, you know, if you have a teacher who is like, who doesn't understand the topic, they're not going to explain it well, you know, oh, and, and, I, okay. and, and I, and I, and I, that's, I love explaining this because I understand it perfectly. But I love explaining it, you know? I really love explaining it. So. Yes, I know. Thank you for your patience. No, no, it's, uh, you, you guys are doing great. <laughs> you guys are doing great, okay? All right, so guys, so I heard your answers here. We're not gonna go over this because I heard your answers, right? But, but uh, and they were good. Actually, guys, I heard 
the people are hurt, you got you guys are advanced. You 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 do have advanced English, you know. So that's great. Wherever you learn that from, you know, if it was here or not, that that is absolutely great, right? So the one exercise I want to go over um, right now, guys, is this one right here. Okay, so um, here's the person. Who are that? Or not? Or 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 who? nothing? Who? 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 Exactly. But let me ask you something, guys. Can we can we reduce this? Can we say he's the person may be able to help? Could we say that? He's who? Uh, yes, we can. We can reduce it, of course. Yeah, it reduces. No, Wait. guy. Hey, hey, hey. Hold on. Hold your horses. <laughs> no, we cannot. <laughs> We can't, guys. Guys, he's the person may be able to help. No, you have to use who or that, right? Here, guys, both answers are correct, right? He's the person who or that may be able to help are absolutely correct, okay? So, um, <coughs> so, 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 um, hold on. One second, guys. So, you can use either one of them, okay? However, guys, you cannot leave it empty, all right? You cannot leave it empty. You have to use either who or that, okay? Finally, I've got a job. Now, here, that guys, like. what should I use? That. That, that I like. like. That. All right. that, that I like. All right, I have a job that I like, right? Why can you not use who there? Because, because he's a person. Yeah. The it thing. Situation. Situation. All right. So because of her, just speak about Next. Joe. Okay, yeah. So yes, right? So it's because we're not talking about a person, right? I think uh I think it's time that I went home. That I went, that that I went. went home. Oh. Can, can I can I reduce this? Can I can I not say that? Can no. I leave it empty? Yes, no. I can, guys. I can simply, I can simply mm -hmm. leave this empty. I think it's time I went home. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's not necessary for us to use that. Okay. I think it's time. Okay. Can you ask someone that I went home? Who? Oh. Who? Oh. you know to help oh. us? Who or that? Very good. Can Can I leave it empty, guys? Yes, we can leave it empty. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. The emperor penguin is an animal. That. Um, that, that is. That. Can, can I leave it empty? Yes. Right. Yes. No. 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 Uh, well, but if, if, we, if we change leaves by living, yes, of course. The emperor penguin is an animal living in the Antarctic. Maybe, yes. Yes, in that case, yeah, that is correct. Okay, so guys. The difference is, check this out. If you use that here, I think it's time that, right? They said that we use that here, right? But notice, I want you to notice what comes after that. What comes after that, guys? Uh, the verb to be. The verb to be. No. Oh, wow, well, in this case, oh, no, of course. Okay, all right, so we have pronoun, right? So. Yes, when this happens here, guys, right? You can you can simply not mention that, okay? But here we don't have pronoun right now, right? Yeah. Okay, that, that's yeah, question mark, so. yeah. Exactly. So you need to use that, right? Exactly. That, that lives. There, in... there is a man. Who? There is a man. Who? who? Okay, yeah. you can use who or that, or can you leave it empty? Yes or no? Yes. Both. Yes. That is. Yes, you can leave it empty. Yes, that's the sofa I prefer, or or that I prefer. That I, I prefer. That prefer. I both. both, right? You can use yes. that or leave it empty. There are so many people. Who? 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 Can I leave this empty or not? No. No. Not no. no. Mm. Okay. Pretty good, guys. Mm. Good job, guys. Good job. All right. Mm -hmm. Good job. Do we have any questions on the topics that we've seen so far? Or so far, so good? So far, so good. It's good. All right. Everything is clear. 
clear, clear as clear as vodka, Petrov, three thousand percent alcohol, or clear as clear, chata. clear as uh, agua de coco. It's clear as cebada, clear as cebada. <laughs> uh, that's that's bad. Hey, did you know, guys? I found a trick. <clears throat> I've never tasted, guys. I think my favorite drink in the world now is um, tamarindo. You know, right. like fresco yes. tamarindo. Yes. With with uh, yes. Uh, no no no. Hold on, hold on. With with um, <laughs> <laughs> with bubble water. You know what bubble bubble water is? Like. No. <laughs> mineral but water yeah right yeah okay. dude you gotta you guys have to taste that okay taste it guys taste it and tell me how it tastes okay because it's amazing i never thought about that guys that is genius you know that is oh, really genius. i yes. i never taste that but i think it's so weird <laughs> that's mexican technology you know oh so really? anyways, yes that's that's mexican technology <laughs> <laughs> So anyways, guys, right. So guys, let's talk about defining and non-defining relative clauses. But yeah, try it, guys. Try it. It's amazing. I promise you, you're not going to regret it. Oh, my bro. Okay. And, all, and also, guys, and also, uh, try, try um, coconut. Try coconut, like the, the coconut meat. Hold on, guys. I'm going to meet everybody. because Try the coconut meat with, with tahini. You know what tahini is, right? Yeah. Right. Yes. <laughs> it's all delicious. It's delicious, guys. But try it with tajin, guys. I've never, I never thought about oh, that. Shit. It's crazy, guys. This Mexican technology is crazy. <laughs> right. So, anyways, uh, so all right. So, what is a defining and non-defining relative clause, right? So, guys, we know what a clause is, right? I notice how crazy this is getting, guys. Because I told you, right? We have two different, we, we have two different groups of clauses, right? So we have. First of all, what is a clause, guys? Quickly, you know what the, what a clause is, right? Give me the, the actual definition of a clause. It's a group of words. It's a group of words. Okay, very good. It has a group of pronouns. words that contains, that contains right? Contains a subject, subject, a predicate. Predicate. A predicate. A predicate. Must a have a verb. And a verb. And a verb. <laughs> Awesome job, guys. That is the actual definition, right? So then I told you, right? I told you, hey, you know, a clause has, all right, a clause is, uh, we have categories, right? We have, what are the two biggest types of clauses that we have? Relatives, pronouns. No, 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 no. The two groups Depends. of clauses. Dependent, right? Dependent, right? Dependent, uh, independent, uh, independent, 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 right? We have a dependent one. Very good job, guys. And we have an independent one, right? Yep. Okay, very good. All right, and within the dependent clauses, guys, because we're not going to talk about the, the independent ones. Within the dependent clauses, what kind of clauses do we have? Relative clauses. We have very good, right? So we yeah. have we have relative clauses, right? Okay, see, this is getting big, right? And within guys, <laughs> within relative clauses, what do we have? Who, who, wish, which. No, those are those are relative pronouns, right? Within the relative clauses, we have. The categories, so we have a defining reticle, right? Defining, uh -huh. right? And we also have non-defining. Non okay, or well, non, right? Defining, all right? So this is getting crazy, right? So when you know guys, why am I showing it to you like this, guys? Because when somebody teaches guys, oh, this is a non-defining relative plus, guys, Everything, everything, right? If you take a look at the clauses, right? A defining relative clause, guys, is a relative clause that is a dependent clause, which is a clause by itself, okay? It's a category of relative clauses. And a relative clause is a category of dependent clauses. Got it? Okay. All right. So it's like subdivisions, right? So you can say, so if I gave you an example, guys, for example, you know, um, 
let's say that I say, um, uh, let's say that I say, guys, I'm going to say something controversial. Mexico, um, Mexico has the, no, Mexico, no, let's use another one, hold on. What if we say, guys, that's a beautiful house, which is interesting because this place is dangerous. All right. So I want you to analyze this, right? Guys, grammar is so beautiful, guys, that you can break things down. You know, when you know how to break things down, guys, it is beautiful. Because I can say, oh, that, that is an adjective, right? Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a demonstrative adjective. And then we have the contraction is, which is, a, which in this case is working as a connector, right? So it's a linking verb. Then we have, we have, you know, ah, which is, what is that, guys? That's, that's an article, right? It's a indefinite article and beautiful is describing house so beautiful is an adjective and house is a noun because it's being described by the adjective now right so it's see it's really really cool to break things down like, like that guys so i want you to tell me something how many clauses do we have here two we have two where, where's where's the first one that's a beautiful that's house. a beautiful house it's a beautiful house and where's the second one which is interesting. Which is interesting because so are you, this place is dangerous. Are you 100% sure, guys? Are you 100% sure that we have two? Because we have. Um, Remember. Three. It's one there. because it's have both words. A comma. All right. So number one is here, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so this one is number one. Okay, we this know that. Sure. Suppose there are three. There are three. Are you sure? I don't know. Two. You guys are the teachers, the experts. Oh. <laughs> one, two, three. So three or two, guys? You have to decide. Two. 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 All right. Two. One. Okay, so we have, we have, you know, a group of words which has a subject, subject that, yeah. that is a subject here, right? Yeah. All right. That is a beautiful house and a predicate, right? So okay. this is a clause, yes. yeah. which is interesting. Do we have a subject and a predicate? Yes. 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 Which is a subject, yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, which is a relative pronoun, right? In this case, is it a relative pronoun? Yes, <laughs> right? And then we have, because this place is dangerous, right? <laughs> so we have three, three. you see uh -huh. all right so we have three right so now all right so but these guys this right here this is the beginning of our uh our defining relative clause right which is interesting okay and then you can you can take this okay if you want to put it like this i'm not going to get you confused okay let's use all of this okay but i want you to take a look at this part which is interesting now the main idea guys of this clause of this sentence okay because how many sentences do we have here only one uh, one we one. only have one. one right so we only have one sentence okay and what is the main idea of the sentence the beautiful oh. house exactly mm -hmm. it's talking about the beautiful house right so now it's basically, I'm saying, hey, that is a beautiful house, right? So what? So so if this information, guys, necessary extra. for the sentence to make sense it's, or not? It's All extra. Right. Extra. Yes. All right. Exactly. Okay. Very good. Okay. It is extra information. All right, so let's go back to the presentation. You guys are really good, you know, really good at understanding. All right, either that or I'm too good of a teacher, you know? No, I'm kidding, guys. Um, you guys are good. So take a look at this, right? 
So we have a defining one. Usually, guys, you can identify that by not having commas, okay? All right, it is necessary information. For example, take a look at this. I called my brother who lives in Ontario. Mm -hmm. Now, it doesn't have any commas, right? No. no. Yes. Okay, because it doesn't have any commas, it means that it is Depend. necessary, necessary yes. information, okay? Yes. Okay, it's so. The, it's the file. Okay, so. How many clauses do we have here? I called my brother who lives in Ontario. Only one. Only, Only one. one. Only one. Two. Ah, guys. Two. Who lives? We have yes. two. 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 We have two. two. Very good. Two. We have we have one. A group of words that contains a friend. subject and a predicate with a verb. Yes. Right. Again, mm -hmm. every time that I say close, guys, you have to remember a group of words that contains a subject with a predicate. You know, never, okay. right? Who lives in Who Ontario? Lives in... Yes. Right? Right? Who mm -hmm. is the pronoun, right? Lives, verb, right? And predicate, okay? So we have two. <clears throat> I called my brother. What is it? What type of clause? Now, tell me the type of clause. Depend. Is it dependent? Are you sure? Dependent. No, that's independent, maybe. And independent. 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 independent okay and then we have who lives dependent. in ontario what what type of clause it's dependent dependent. Okay. dependent and what type and what type of dependent clause is it relative, relative clauses relative clause. relative all right it's a relative. relative clause right because it has a relative pronoun right good job hey guys plus for you guys that's amazing <laughs> really really good job guys i really you can teach guys you know you should I'm gonna. I'm gonna. You're gonna be the next teachers here. You know. Okay. <laughs> really good job. Okay. Really good job. All right. So yes, guys, that is great. Okay. No, so now, um, uh, who lives in Ontario? What type of relative clause is it? <laughs> what it's type not defining. Defining. It's not defining. It's, it's defining, right? Defining. defining. Okay. Defining. Okay. But See. Come and the first, yes, the second. The one. first one. I'm talking about the first one, right? Yeah, so we can con we can conclude, guys, that the first sentence is the first. We have two clauses, right? The first one is independent, and then we have a dependent clause, which is a relative clause, which is a defining relative clause. Got it? Yes. It's yes. the category within, right? Very good. So notice that we are using the exact same words in the second sentence. Okay, so. How many clauses do we have in the second one? Only one. No, we, we have one. Two. two. We two. have two. Where is the two. first one? My brother. My brother, my brother is author. Exactly. <laughs> my brother. Right. So we have my it's brother. Something. Right. Okay. And then but we have the... my brother is so older there. is the first clause okay my brother is yeah. older okay very good and then where's the second clause who lives, who lives in, in, ontario. Ontario. in ontario who lives in ontario right this right here guys is the second clause okay so now let's analyze this my brother is older what what type of clause is that no. first of all dependent or independent my brother is older. Independent. Guys. Independent, right? Very good. So it's independent. Okay. And who lives in Ontario? What is that? Dependent or independent? Dependent. All right. Dependent. It's dependent, right? What type of dependent clause? Relative. Fine. All right. So it's a relative one, right? What yes. type of relative? Not defining. Non defining. Non defining. Guys, non defining. <laughs> Undefining, right? Why is it undefining? Now, here's why. I'm sorry. If you use you, commas. Yes, you use commas, right? But it's not because of the comma itself, okay? The reason why you use commas is because, hey, this information is extra. The extra, main yes. the, the main idea, guys, is that my brother is older, right? I could say, hey, <laughs> Rafael, did you know my, my brother is older, right? That is the main piece of information, right? But if I say, Hey, Rafael, did you know my brother, who 
who lives in Ontario is older, right? Mm -hmm. I'm, that who lives in Ontario, guys, is not the main idea. That is extra information. Got it? I could say, yeah. um, I could say my girlfriend, um, who is beautiful, right, lives in Mexico, for example, right? I could say something like that, correct? And that who is beautiful is extra information. Got it? Yes. All right. It's extra information. All right. So that is the difference between both. Okay. What is another difference that we have? Okay. With a defining relative clause, guys, we can use that. Okay. Write that down, guys. With a defining yes. relative clause, right? With a defining relative clause, we can use that, right? So with a defining relative clause, clause we can use that okay so we can use that instead of who or which guys so we can say um that's let me give you one here all right i can say that's the person that i met in chalchuapa right all right very good that's the person that i met in Chalchuapa. So here, guys, you can say, hey, you know what? This is a defining relative. You can notice that I made it to Chalchuapa, guys, right? First of all, dependent or independent? Dependent. In independent. You know dependent. Dependent. Dependent, okay? So now, you know what type of dependent, right? It's a, what type of dependent clause is this? Is this a relative clause? right yes right what type of relative it's defining right very good why why can you okay check this out why can what wh how do you know guys that you cannot use that this is not gonna be a defining relative clause because you cannot do this that's a person comma that a medicine chop on you cannot do that okay all right, you cannot do that. Okay, so uh, that's a big difference, right? Um, take a look at this. So we said that this is a defining one, right? Now, what about this right here? What if we said, um, those those cards right that are expensive are made in in El Sub, right? Let's pretend that we make cars. <laughs> All right. Very good. So let me ask you something. What is wrong here, guys? If there is anything wrong, is there anything wrong in this sentence? Those cars that are expensive are made in El Salvador. No, with no comments. No comment. All right. Uh, okay. Yeah, that is that is one. Right. What else? What else is wrong in this sentence? The first all right without the without first comma the first comma okay all right very good yes. wow. what else what else i want you to think about it guys if you heard someone speak like this okay would that make sense guys those cars that are expensive are made in el salvador the answer guys think think you know what think guys you got the answer i know that you got it First of all, remember, what do we use a non-defining relative clause for? What do we use it for? Non-defining. Non-defining. Which? Which? No, 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 no. Why, guys? Why do we use a non-defining relative clause? We use it for extra information information, yes, information. right for extra information for not 
Think about it like this, guys. When I say non-defining, think about not necessary, okay? Non, right. Not necessary. Non-defining means not necessary, okay? Sounds good? Yeah. All right, so not necessary, okay? So, if, guys, guys, this is grammatically incorrect. We cannot use that. It's impossible, okay? We need to use either, we need to which? use which. Got it? Those cards which are expensive are made in El Salvador. All right, can I say, guys, um, those? Is it case for the plural teacher? I'm sorry, what? Uh, which is to refer to a plural instead of that? No, no, it's because no. The, it's because. Uh, rules that are the, are the without, non-defining. Yes, exactly. With a non-defining okay. relative clause, guys, you cannot use that, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, got Never, it. Never, because that's extra information. Now, think about this. Instead of those cars, let's say those people, right? Those people. Mm -hmm. Who? Um, who are rich, okay, Living. don't help the poor, right? Those people who are rich don't help the poor. Is this correct? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Those rich people who is for the poor. Those no. people who are rich. No, those rich people don't help the poor. No, I mean, can can we use them, guys? My question is, can we use them or not? So here, guys. Okay. So with all right. Which are all right. The thing is that we cannot use that, right? But we can use who or which. For me, if we are speaking to apply the rules about the All right, very good. So yes, we can use who, who guys, okay? So you can say those people who are rich don't help the poor or which are rich don't help the poor, okay? All right, so we can do that. Okay, we can use that, okay? All right, very good, guys, very good. So, um, so anyways, we're gonna, I'm gonna give you guys more examples um, tomorrow, okay? But um, do we have any questions, guys? Interesting topic, teacher. It's yes. for he always. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a re I really like teaching this topic. I love it, I love it. Cause okay. those, are, those are topics from advanced classes, you know, like yeah, those right. are like, these are more advanced topics, right? Um, so yeah, guys, like if you're gonna, I, yeah, you know what? Like if you if you if you think about if you think about it, like why why should I know these things? Um, it's because it's not only because of exams, guys. Okay, it's because sometimes you know you're gonna be talking and you're gonna be you're gonna make a mistake, but because you know the grammar rule, you can correct yourself. Of course. So it's like you are your own teacher, you know. So that's why you do it. And people, you know, even Americans would make mistakes, like grammar mistakes, you know, but uh, so you may even have, you know, better grammar than them, right? In either case, guys, we're gonna go over uh, tomorrow, right? We're gonna uh, finish talking about defining and non-defining relative clauses. We're gonna have some practice and we're gonna go over the final exam, okay? Together, okay? So <laughs> we can answer all questions. If you have, um, if you need anything, guys, okay, ask it directly on, on the WhatsApp group. Remember, all, cla all classes are recorded. Recorded, and uh, um, that's it, guys. Thank you very much. All right. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Have a Bye. Nice Good night. Day. Bye. Bye. Take care.